you will be using a size 3 millimeter crochet hook and size 1 yarn. So the first thing we need to do is make a loop stitch. We will chain 196 stitches. Multiples of uh, 14. Okay, so once we've chained 84, we need to make sure that our chain is straight. And we need to slip stitch into the first one. Chain three, skip two, single crochet, chain five, skip four, single crochet, chain three, skip two. Chain three, skip two, chain three, skip two, chain five. Skip four, single crochet into the fifth one. So three with three chains, and then one with five chains. And we will keep repeating that for the entire row. To start a new row, we will slip stitch here. And then we will go in here into the chain of three, single crochet. All right, and then we will do six double crochet into the chain of five. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. And then we will go into the chain of three and we will single crochet one. Okay? Like that. Chain three. Single crochet into the chain of three. Chain three. Single crochet into the chain of three. Again, we will go into the chain of five and do six more double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we will go into the chain of three, single crochet, like that, chain of three, single crochet, into the chain of three, chain of three, single crochet into the chain of three, double crochet, six into the chain of five single crochet 
single crochet into the chain of three. And keep repeating the same steps for the entire row. And then I'll show you what to do next. To finish the row, go in here and slip stitch. Okay, in the next row, chain three. Double crochet the next one. Chain two. Half a double crochet two into the post. One, two, yarn over, pull it through. Next, double crochet, one, chain two, half double crochet two into the same post, one, two, yarn over, pull it through, double crochet, one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post, yarn over, pull it through, double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post, Yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post. Yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post. Yarn over, pull it through. Okay. So when you have six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. You skip this chain of three and go into the next one. And the single crochet. Okay? Like that. And you do the same thing for the entire row. And now we start on the next one. Double crochet one, double crochet another one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post. Yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post. Yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two. Yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post. Yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, 
half double crochet two into the post yarn over pull it through double crochet one chain two half double crochet two into the post yarn over pull it through so one two three four five six we have six and now we will skip this and we will go in here and we will single crochet and this is how your work should look like so far keep repeating the same steps for the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next Okay, so this is the last one and I will skip the first chain of three and we'll go into the second one single crochet and then we will go in here to the third chain and we will slip stitch so we will chain four we will double crochet one in here chain three 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 double crochet one in here when you get in between of these two you will not chain you will just triple crochet one in here double crochet one in here double crochet one in here chain three double crochet one in here chain three double crochet one chain three double crochet one chain three double crochet one so again when you get in between these two we'll triple crochet one double crochet one chain three double crochet one chain three double crochet one chain three double crochet one and keep repeating the same steps for the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next Okay, so to finish the row, we'll go in here into the fourth chain and you will slip stitch. Okay, then we will continue to slip stitch. Single crochet. 
chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and when we get here, we will chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. Chain three. Single crochet. Chain three. Single crochet. Chain three. Single crochet chain five single crochet and we will keep repeating these steps for the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next to finish the row We will slip stitch in here. On the next row, slip stitch, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet double crochet six in here single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet double crochet six crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet double crochet six single crochet keep repeating these same steps until you finish the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next to finish the row we will slip stitch in here on the next row we will slip stitch single crochet double crochet two one two chain two half double crochet two into the post and 
yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post, yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post, yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post, yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two into the post, yarn over, pull it through. Double crochet one, chain two, half double crochet two. Yarn over, pull it through. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We will skip this. We'll go into the next chain of three. Single crochet. We will keep repeating these same steps for the entire row, and then I'll show you what to do next. To finish the row, slip stitch in here. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please share and subscribe. Okay guys, so after we finish one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we will start with the knitting portion. You can make it shorter or longer, depending on your preference. Take your uh, size 6 knitting needles, circular, and you will need to put your needle through each stitch and pull out your stitches. Here, like this. So keep doing that for the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay guys, so now we will do the moss stitch pattern. So after we pulled all the stitches for one row, we will knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and we'll keep doing that for the entire row. And then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, guys, so in the next row we will continue to knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. just like we did on the previous row. Keep repeating the same steps for the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay guys, so in the next row we will purl one, 
knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, and we'll keep doing that for the entire row. After we finish this row, I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, so on the next row, we will knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And we will keep doing that for the entire row. And then we'll keep repeating the last four rows. And I will check back with you later. Okay guys, so after we complete 45 rows, and now we need to finish off all these stitches except the 88 in the front. Because the stop is going to have an open back. Keep doing that, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay guys, so after you got to this point, where the marked stitches, so you'll slip off the first stitch, so purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, and you will continue to do the oblique stitch uh, pattern. Finish with that. I will show you what to do next. Okay, guys. After you finish another forty-two rows, the moss stitch. You'll need to finish. The row. Alright, so we will knit the first one, then we will knit the first one and then one next to it together. This one and the one next to it together again. And this one and the one next to it together. And we will keep doing that for the entire row. And then I'll show you what to do next. When you get to the last two stitches, knit them together. So now we will need to make a loop stitch again. Chain 150. Okay, so when we chain 150, we need to pull the stitch and then we need to cut the yarn. And now we need to put the crochet chain through the top.
We're going to try to put it through every fifth stitch. So this is how it's going to look like. And then this will go around the neck. And you can tie this in the back. Thank you for watching.